We are now beginning the new Islamic calendar. We are now in the month of Muharram. And this is a month that is a sacred month. In fact, our Prophet wasallam said that the best month to fast after that of Ramadan is Shahrullah al-Muharram, the month of Allah al-Muharram. So notice, our Prophet called Muharram the month of Allah. And no other month has been called Shahrullah other than Muharram. He literally called it Shahrullah al-Muharram, the month of Allah Muharram. And therefore, this is of the highest honors that has been given to this month. And no other month in the Islamic calendar has been given this honor. This month of Muharram is one of the four sacred months. And in fact, many of the Sahaba said, it is the most sacred of the four months. Obviously, Ramadan is the most sacred month of the year, but Ramadan is not of the four sacred Haram months. And Muharram, many of the scholars said, is the most sacred of all of the sacred months. When Umar ibn al-Khattab instituted the calendar, 10 years or 8 years after the Prophet ﷺ passed away, they discussed which month should we begin the calendar with. And some said this and others said that. And one opinion was Ramadan. And one opinion was other months as well. Until finally, the most of the Sahaba, they said, Muharram makes the most sense to begin the year with. Because of its blessings. And because it occurs right after Hajj. So it's as if it's a new beginning. And so they decided that the first month of the year shall be Muharram. And so Muharram from that time onwards has always been the first month of the year. And it is a month where the Prophet ﷺ would fast regularly. And Ibn Abbas reported that I never saw the Prophet ﷺ more concerned about fasting than on the day of Ashura and in the month of Muharram. And the day of Ashura literally means the 10th from Ashara. The fasting on this day was made obligatory even before Ramadan. It was made wajib in the first year after the Hijrah. And everybody had to fast the first year. Then Allah revealed Ramadan. So Ramadan became wajib and the next year Muharram became recommended and not obligatory. So the first year of Islam, it was obligatory on all Muslims to fast on the 10th of Muharram. And then in the second year, it went down from being obligatory to being recommended and strongly encouraged. And our Prophet ﷺ said that it serves as a forgiveness for the sins of the previous year. On this day of 10th of Muharram, our Prophet ﷺ told us that Musa alayhi salam was saved, Moses was saved from Pharaoh, that Nuh alayhi salam, his ship landed on uh, Mount Judi, that on these days many incidents happened in the past that served as a day of celebration and rejoicing. When our Prophet found out that the Yahud are fasting on the 10th of Muharram as well, even though the blessings of the 10th were predating the knowledge of our Prophet about the Yahud, when he found out that they were fasting because on this day they said Moses was safe and Pharaoh drowned. So we take it as a day of celebration. Our Prophet ﷺ said, we have more right to Moses than you do. In other words, we are the true followers of Moses. And from that year onwards, he also encouraged everybody to fast on the 10th. And he also said, if I live one more year, I shall fast on the 9th and the 10th. The scholars say to make our ritual different from the ritual of other religions and nations. And therefore, ideally, it is good to fast the 9th and the 10th, even though our process never did it. Because he said the hadith, but he passed away the very year that he said it. So he never actually lived to the next year. But he said, if Allah allows me to live, of another year, I shall fast the 9th and the 10th of Muharram. So those who are able to fast the 9th and the 10th, Alhamdulillah, or the 10th and the 11th, Alhamdulillah, but if they cannot fast two days, then at least on the 10th, they should definitely uh, fast on that day. And it is a day that, uh, inshallah, if you do it properly and sincerely, the minor sins of the previous year are forgiven. And no doubt this day also is a day in which a historical tragedy occurred, and that is the massacre of Hussein radiallahu ta'ala anhu. That tragedy does not have anything to do with the sanctity of this day. It was a coincidence that it happened on that day. And the fact of the matter is that the death of Hussein is a historical tragedy. But the blessings of the 10th of Muharram and the fasting of the 10th of Muharram is separate to the historical tragedy that occurred 
coincidentally on the 10th of Muharram in a later year of the Hijrah, the massacre of Karbala. And unfortunately, people have taken this massacre to imply and to give meaning to Muharram. But Muharram was blessed and sacred before the massacre. And the massacre has nothing to do with the sanctity of the month and the fasting of the month. And Ashura was a day that was holy before Hussein was martyred on that day. And therefore, we as Muslims, we take the 10th of Muharram not as a day of mourning, but as a day of worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as a day of ibadah, as a day where we are conscious of Allah even more, and we come close to Allah through our actions of worship, through the action of fasting. And let us make sure we fast on the 10th, and if we're able to on the 9th and the 10th, or the 10th and the 11th, but at least on the 10th, and especially in this month overall. This is a month where overall our Prophet ﷺ encouraged extra good deeds, extra fasting, extra charity. It is one of the sacred months. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those who utilize it to the best.